What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Salute to everyone tuning in. I want to talk about the story from the New York Post. It's of a woman. She's a businesswoman. Her name is Allie Clark. She is unhappy about the comments that she received and she was on a live stream. And I believe her husband stepped into the Instagram or the TikTok live stream. And there were people making comments, according to her, that she was not attractive enough for her husband. Uh, they're talking about how she needs to watch out. You know, they're saying things, I guess, about her facial features. And she took a lot of offense to that, right? To where we are now. Let me say this to a lot of women. And, and, I, and I don't mean this as any type of diss. I'm just being real honest here, okay? You have women like Allie here who like to show off their bodies. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with showing off what you work for, right? She's had a kid and still been able to maintain her shape, right? And she has a lot of pictures where she shows off her body, which is fine. It's nice to look at. But there are people who might look at her facial features and say, eh, but I don't I don't like how she looked face wise, which is it is what it is. You know, men have to deal with it all the time. You know, like you got a lot of guys out here would tell you that they didn't start getting attention from girls till they got in shape when they got their bodies in shape now chicks found them attractive before they got in shape women didn't find them physically appealing all right they didn't have the facial features or whatnot maybe they weren't the tallest but when they got into really good shape women started to notice them and with her you know she shows her body off a lot but and you know, she shows her face too as well but she's like a lot this ain't this ain't just her but there's a lot of women out here who uh, feel like their body is, is what will attract people to them and get, you know, people to, I guess, follow their social media. I don't know. Uh, but I, I just think that people have opinions and I think that they were, may have been trolling her. Uh, maybe they thought that they were complimenting her husband and but she really didn't like it. And she took great offense to it. And I would say this. Uh, you have a husband. Uh, the women who are criticizing her, so to speak, because they say they were both men and women criticizing her. Uh, those women may not, don't even have a husband, let alone a husband that they're actually attracted to. All right. And she has that. She has a husband, she has a child, she has a family and the people criticizing her probably don't have that. So for her to be, you know, angry and outraged, you know, I would say why people are going to have opinions. It doesn't mean you have to agree with them. It just means that that's just what the internet has become. It's a very opinionated space that a lot of people think their opinions matter. And it looked like to me, they've probably been trolling you for a while. Maybe you've put up with it. I don't know. But I would say, and if I was to, to talk to her, I would say, listen, you shouldn't care what strangers, and, and that's what they quoted in the article as strangers, what strangers have to say about you and your husband. Now, this is a TikTok video. I'm going to play it so y'all can see it for yourself. You are not going to believe the things that people were saying last night on my live TikTok. I haven't been doing lives very often these days. And last night, our daughter was in bed early. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to jump on and do a live and answer some questions about my business and, you know, business, uh, small business in general. Anyway, my beautiful husband here decided to join in and he always draws a crowd because he's got this amazing, vibrant personality and this beautiful smile. So lots of people start to watch. Anyway, the comments started to flow and there were some really horrific things like this was next level online bullying and he was horrified that people actually would do this. And I was just taking it on the chin and we were trying to avoid the comments, but they were just getting out of control. People were commenting on my appearance, my teeth, my nostrils, all these horrendous things. There were men and women in the comments saying things like, I can't believe that's your wife. You can, you know, and, and I'm going to say this too real quick. You know, they love to say that men are, are the trolls, that men are the incels. We hate women. We're going around just stalking and, and talking about women when really, you know, the, the, the biggest haters of women online are women. They're women. Now, I, I just want to ask her this. Is she sure that those people that were saying those things were more so admirers of your husband? than you know fans of you i don't know how tiktok live streams work but 
I don't know if just the followers on your TikTok are going to be on your your live. You know, you may have randoms coming into your live stream who don't know you. That could have been what it was. It could have been people that don't know her very well that were looking to jump in there. They didn't like seeing this. Looks like a, a, a mixed couple. Right. They didn't like seeing this mixed couple together. You know, I'm not sh from sure where where this 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 guy is from. I know she's from Australia. Uh, I'm not sure where he's from, but you see a couple that looks very mixed. And maybe there are people that took offense to that more so than anything else. You're so much better than her. You're too good for her. You know, uh, and there was even girls saying, I'm coming for your husband. You know, you better watch out. Sheesh. You know, um, <laughs> you know, you think he's really hot. And it was just horrendous. Like, you see what goes on out here, man. I'll tell you, women are, I'm telling you, women are the biggest haters of women. It ain't, it ain't the men out here. You know, you got other women who are your biggest haters and they are, I'm telling you, it was admirers of your husband. Those are the ones that you got to look out for. People who follow your husband and they're jealous of you, right? I've dealt with bullying my whole life, but these comments last night were just next level. So if you're watching this tonight and you were one of those people that was on a little fake account or whatever it was that were <laughs> see she didn't even think the accounts were real because they were trolls you know some of those people she probably have interacted with before who don't even like her don't like the fact that you know she's with this guy and and i guess her life is the way it is i don't know She's like the only person. Now, this particular person here, this is Allie Clark. She's the only woman. This is a side note. She's like the only person I know with 2,800 followers and a blue check mark on Instagram. But anyway, uh, they probably were fake accounts. They were trolls. You were being trolled. That's what happened. Now, I'm not too familiar with TikTok live stream. I don't think I would ever go live on TikTok. Still don't understand the platform, even though I posted some, uh, some of my shorts to TikTok. I still don't understand the platform. But that's what they were looking to do. They were looking to get a rise out of you. Making these really horrific comments about my appearance, about how my husband can do better than me and all these things. I really feel bad for you because I have, you know, a beautiful husband and we've been married for a long time now. And for him to hear things like that is actually really hurtful to him as well. And you know what? It's not all about what you look like. Uh, he didn't marry me for what i look like um and <laughs> now she said that he didn't marry her for how she looked okay uh which is probably true a lot of guys will marry women for various reasons it doesn't have anything to do with looks right look at look at look at um who hugh jackman is married to right he didn't divorce her and, and get a younger woman right uh, look at pierce brosnan i mean there are situations where men will marry a woman because they love the fact that that woman brings a certain element to their life. Now, I will say this, though. I mean, this woman, you know, she physically, body wise, she's on point. She's on point. That's why she got so many female haters. You know, you don't have female haters unless you're doing something right. And it seems like she's doing something right because she got some of these people in their feelings to where they want to go and start trolling her. You know, so I, I'm not in, in, we're not talking about somebody that's just just unattractive, woefully unattractive. I mean, <laughs> body wise, man, she's out here doing better than a lot of these different chicks out here. And she had a kid. And I just wanted to say that online bullying will never be tolerated. I will never put up with online being bullied by online people. I will call you out. And I really hate to have to make a TikTok about this, but you know, I'm just absolutely sick of it. Like every time he comes on my live, people always make these comments and you know, they are really hurtful, nasty things to say to someone. So just, if you're gonna be on a live with people, be respectful, be kind, and just keep your comments to yourself. Like if you don't like the way I look, don't watch my live TikTok. It's that simple. That's what I would say too. If you don't like a person, um, you know, don't watch their their content. Um, but that, but you know, people are not going to follow that advice. They're going to do the opposite. They're going to do what they think 
uh, it's going to be funny. You know, I think it's funny to go into your, your comment section or your chat rooms and to get a rise out of you, right? Even with, with me, when I do live streams on subscriber mode, I still got people that want to get, they want, I call them being a part of the show. I make them a part of the show. I, I make mock them for a little bit, make them feel bad. And then I kick them out the chat and go about the stream. That's usually what I do. You know, <laughs> that's what I do. Uh, but I'm not too familiar with TikTok. but it just, you know, that's probably why I don't really deal with the platform. It's, but I think it's like a lot of platforms. Uh, but it seems to me that she has people that probably follow her on Instagram and other platforms who feel some type of way because of who she's with. Right. But also, let me just say this, too, because I, I can't leave this out. Right. Analyzing the situation. I think this also can come from a place of insecurity, because, again, she talks about how she was bullied her entire life. Maybe which is why she chose to make that she, she she did. And and also, you know, keeps her body in relatively you know good shape. So uh, I do think that she may have certain insecurities that creep up. Maybe she you know, there were comments there. Uh, cause it, that caught her attention, not because of them saying anything about her marriage. I think she was more, you know, upset about how she, they, they, she felt like they were saying that she wasn't good enough for her husband and no woman wants to be told that she's not good enough for the guy that she is with. And I think that she feels like people think that she's not good enough for her husband and I, that's why i believe women should should really um stop caring about what the internet thinks the internet should not matter okay you don't know these people they don't know you and the best thing that you can do is just move forward and block them so let me say in the comment section let me know your thoughts like this video and share it follow me on facebook twitter and instagram and i'll see y'all next one